Hello, welcome to the remote learning series videos. This one is on how to save and resume working with Kami. So uh, if you've been working on your credit and uh, you're ready to make sure that it's saved and uh, walk away from it for a little bit and come back to complete it a bit later, um, Kami has some really cool features for you that um, I'm going to show you and also show you how to open it again later. So the first thing is you can see like I've got my name and uh, I've kind of highlighted that right there. So that's just about the work that I've done and I'm ready to save it. So if I click over here on the disk icon where it says save, we can see that uh, the last save was saved three minutes ago and it's set to auto save. For the most part, I uh, Kami will save everything for you as you go. Um, again, this is a web app, so you will need to be connected to the internet for it to uh, auto-save for you. But um, yeah, we can also force that save by clicking Save Now. So it's probably a good idea before you exit out to go ahead and click Save Now. And while it's saving, I just want to also note this thing right up here where it says Google Drive and it says Kami Uploads. So what this is telling me is that this uh, document is going to be saved in my Kami Uploads folder within my Google Drive. So uh, let's go ahead and close out of this and uh, open up Google Drive. So uh, starting from a blank tab, uh, we can reach our Google Drive by clicking the little waffle over here and click on Drive, or we can go to drive.google.com and so we can see in my Google Drive I have a document called Kami Uploads right here so if I click to open Kami Uploads I'm gonna see that I have my document right here and so this is the Algebra 1A Credit 1 LEP and it automatically saves with my name um, or at least my fake students name right here up at the front uh, so this is how you know that it's yours um, if you do look uh, from our mobile um, how to uh, use Kami on mobile video. I do have the original saved, but if you note that this is actually not mine. This is owned by our online accounts um, I, user account that we push out all our curriculum with. So uh, just make sure uh, that you are looking at, look, this one is me. Um, I am the owner of it. And so uh, this is where it lives in our drive. And uh, so I am going to open it back again. So I will right click and click open with annotate and cami okay another way that I can do this is I can double click and I can open it up big here and I can click open with and then annotate and cami and then the third way that I can do this is I can actually go back to the cami website camiapp.com click sign in and if you were already signed in which I was it's just gonna pop you right to it and I can click open from Google Drive in the Kami Uploads folder and I can select my credit right there. So those are three different ways that you can access it. Note if you've been using a mobile device, the best way to do this is to go through uh, the KamiApp.com website and uh, you can edit it right there and you can see that uh, my fake teacher has already gone in and given me a grade, um, but uh, you can see that the uh, my work that I did is right there and I can continue working um, you know putting in my math teacher's name and going through and adding whatever else I want to so um, that is how to uh, save and resume working your work with Cami.